So, I would like to, for a moment, talk about Dr. Fauci. What, what is there to say about Dr. Fauci? Um, at first, I didn't particularly like Dr. Fauci. I thought he was being kind of an alarmist, kind of a fear monger, that kind of shit. I, I wasn't really happy with it. This was in the beginning, right? <clears throat> As things got worse, I was kind of like at a point where I, I started to see kind of a good cop, bad cop thing going with him and Trump. And I was like, well, maybe that's kind of part of the plan. Dr. Fauci comes out and says, oh, you know, this is, uh, we're all going to die. And then Donald Trump goes out and goes, we're going to be fine. Right? I kind of, I, I liked the interplay there. Now... We're getting to a point where everybody wants to trust the experts, right? All the governors are always saying, we got to trust the experts. The Democrats are all about this shit. We have to trust the experts. We have to do exactly what they say, no matter what it is, no matter how harmful it may be, ultimately, at the end of the day, we have to trust the experts. Now, I agree with that. You might be thinking, I was going to go, fuck that. No. I totally agree with that. We should trust the experts. Uh, sure. Dr. Fauci is a medical professional. Right? He's, I would say, good at his job. I would say that he's handling this... in a way that I think at the end of the day, because here's the thing, this is another one of the problems with the way that everybody has treated this administration throughout the fucking course of it. This is big, like this is lives. This could be lots of lives. Like they were, they were saying that if we didn't do anything, if we did what fucking Sweden's doing and tried herd immunity, we could have two million people die. That's a lot of fucking people to die. We've done the mitigation stuff. We ain't anywhere near two million people. That's good. So, you know, we're good to a point. And I think that Dr. Fauci sees what happens like politically with what's going on right because people immediately politicize this whole thing this is a pandemic that took time to rev up and then got to a fucking head and now we're kind of hoping that it's revving down it has been politicized through the whole fucking thing for those of you who thinks that there was at any point that this thing wasn't heavily politicized you haven't been paying attention the thing has been politicized since day one. Every time they say, we don't want to politicize this sort of thing. Guess what? That's them politicizing this sort of thing. It isn't both sides saying, we don't want to politicize this. We're fucking serious and we're down to brass tacks. Right? Both sides have been saying that. But when do they say it? As soon as the other side says something they don't like... They immediately go to, we, it's just wrong to politicize this. It's like a defense. It's a don't fucking question me defense. Right? Anytime I come out and say something about what I'm doing out, Andrew Cuomo. When I come out to say something about what's going on with this, you better not fucking criticize me. Because if you criticize me, you're politicizing this and it's disgusting if you're politicizing this. Like that's how it's mostly being used. So it's been politicized from day one with everybody saying, don't question me. I mean, don't politicize this, right? So, it's been politicized the whole time. And Dr. Fauci's been doing all of these you know, big, big fucking things where he comes out and talks to everybody and answers questions from reporters. And that shit has not gone well. Dr. Fauci, if you want to say anything about the man, you can't say that he is not smart. He's a smart man. He figured out real fucking quick, smart man, possibly child of divorce. I, 
I'm not saying I know that. I'm not even levying the accusation. I entirely know if it's an accusation. I'm just kind of saying possibly in the fact that he figured out real quick that the media was trying to play him off of Donald Trump, right? So, like, yeah, that's kind of why I say that, because I've seen that shit before. Parents playing off of each other with the fucking kid, right? Dr. Fauci's kind of like the kid. And then you got the shitty media and Donald Trump, Daddy Trump, and, you know, he's seeing how this shit is happening. So, I don't think he likes that very much. I don't think he's comfortable in the position he's in because of the politicization of shit. So, because he sees that every time Donald Trump says anything positive, the fucking media jumps down his throat and says he's going to cost everybody their lives, I think Dr. Fauci is more inclined to take an extreme, safe approach. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to want to go extreme safety. He's going to be the one who's going to say, look, I don't want to get blamed if shit goes fucking south. Like, really south. And we get a million people dead. I don't want to be blamed for that shit. So what I'm going to go with is nobody should do anything until we have a cure for every disease ever. Right? Like, that's kind of... The tact he's almost taken. We need to have something before we can do shit. Because I'm going to be blamed. This is like, I just, I, every time I hear him talk, I hear, don't blame me for this shit. I'm not, I'm doing my best. Like, I just, ah, every time. So, he's taking an extreme, be cautious maneuver. And that's fine. Uh -uh. I'm not going to begrudge him that. Look, man, we all are trying to make it through the world. And if the guy decides to take the extremely cautious doctor role, I, I'm not going to begrudge him his fucking hustle. Right? Same thing I say all the time. I will begrudge nobody their hustle. As long as they're willing to acknowledge it's the hustle. And I think that he is willing to acknowledge that it's a hustle. I think if you sat the man down and said, look, are you taking like this extreme precautionary level thing because you just don't want to fucking deal with all the shit that's going to come down on you because of it? And he's probably like, dude, there's so much shit right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. But this is just my guess. This is just me attempting to read human nature for what it is it, to my eyes. My opinion, whatever. So, he's taking this really severely, let's be safe, role. And that's fun. And he's a medical professional. And we should trust the experts. As far as medicine is concerned, we should trust the experts. I absolutely agree. Dr. Fauci, the dude to listen to. However, we have two crises going on right now. We have a medical crisis in which Dr. Fauci should be listened to as the expert. I'll agree with everybody who says that, yes. But we also have an economic crisis. Now, Dr. Fauci is a medical doctor, not a fucking economist. So if we really want to sit here and say, let's listen to the experts, there's a whole lot of economists saying, you are running out of time. You must restart this economy or people would begin to die. Because starvation kills almost like a disease you catch. All of a sudden you have no money, you're not eating any food, you get slowly worse and worse, then you die. Right? That's how starvation works. Like the coronavirus. There's also going to be uh, riots. Like when, when, when people can't feed their children anymore they're going to start stealing food and there's going to be food riots. People are going to do what it takes to survive. At our core, we are animals. We have base instincts. We are not above them. And one of our base instincts, one of our str the strongest base instinct that human beings have is fucking survival. So, when it comes down to it, there will be deaths 
if we don't get this shit going, there will be deaths. And the deaths could range into staggering numbers. The deaths could make the coronavirus look like a fucking piker. Like, shit could get really bad. And people could be talking about, God, you remember the, the, the War of California? Psh, coronavirus didn't kill half as many people as died in that shit. You know what I mean? Like, we could be having those conversations in the future. Because California's pretty much said, we ain't fucking opening. You all fuck yourselves. We're not doing shit. We're all staying in. So, things are going to get exponentially bad there. I think that was just L.A. County or something like that, or maybe just the city of L.A., I don't know. But things can get really bad really fast there if that's the kind of tactic they're taking. Because what they're doing is they're listening to medical experts on economics issues. I'm not going to take advice from an astronaut on how to heal myself, right? I'm not going to take advice from an economist on how to load and unload a truck on a warehousing dock, right? I'm not going to go to a McDonald's cook to find out how to make a five-star chef meal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's not to say that it's impossible for these people to have this sort of knowledge or skill set. However... When I'm looking for medical advice, I go to doctors. When I'm looking for economic advice, I go to economists. And if we really want to listen to the experts, we need to pay attention upon which subject, which experts we are listening to. So the whole thing I think is ridiculous. I think it's just more and more politicization of shit. And I think it's, now Now we're getting into like the twisting of the politics, right? If we're not listening to Dr. Fauci about how to open up the economy, we're going to kill people. Yeah, probably. But if you do listen to Dr. Fauci about how to open the economy, you're going to kill people. So, right, I think that what Donald Trump needs to do is he needs to get more economics experts on that task force. And they need to get together with Dr. Fauci and Dr. Burks, and those people need to sit. Thomas Sowell, Milton, Milton Friedman, I think Thomas Sowell is still alive. I'm not sure if Milton Friedman's still alive. Get both of them to sit down with Dr. Fauci, Dr. Burks. Man, they'd hammer out a way to get this shit up and running again perfectly. Because we would have experts on both sides of both problems figuring out how to find a happy medium somewhere. So, I like Dr. Fauci. I think the man is doing a good job. I think... He's also uh, covering his own ass. And I think he's also not an economics expert. <laughs> so every time people talk about how do you think we should open up the economy again and somebody says we should listen to the doctors, I want to smack them in the fucking face. Because that's just fucking stupid.